So hi guys, welcome back to this series on machine learning using MLKit and TensorFlow Lite in iOS. So today we'll start with face detection. So this is the first example that we'll go through. So in the last video, we showed you where to get the files and how to set it up. So once you have set it up, uh, you will have your export project, something like this. It already has all the models and code is already working. And if you're able to run it on the simulator, you will see something like this. Now, just to show you an example, uh, we will then go in the uh, code. So you can either use a camera or you can pick a picture from photos. So this is a simulator, so camera won't work. So I'll just use photo for now. So you can see it can detect a face and it can even label them with uh, numbers. So if there are more faces, it will detect them and label them accordingly. So yeah, very small demo. So just to go over the requirements. So if you remember, we are using pod files to manage our library dependencies. For this, we only need face detection from Google. So this is the pod that we have added from Google ML Kit. Uh, we are using 3.2.0 and uh, in the code, it's, uh, we have already grouped all the codes in folders. So it would be easier for you. So we have a common photo video view. So we have used Swift UI to build the uh, UI. This only has an image and uh, a text and a button at the bottom. So not much fancy. So you can see here, there's only this image view, this output text and then uh, two buttons at the bottom. So one will open our photo picker and one will open, one will just start the camera. So if we see the uh, code that is actually required, quite simple. Uh, so this is the model, which will actually communicate between the worker and the view. And then we have the uh, worker. So this is the actual class where we will do the detection and we will write the code. So we have the face detector option. Uh, we have not used any contour or landmark detection. And we're just using the accurate mode for now. Uh, so this is the method that is called when you select an image. So it's actually part of the base uh, view model. So whenever an image is selected, this worker dot process image is called. So this is our worker. So process image will be called here, and then we will call face detector dot process and uh, we just have to create a vision image. So this vision image is what is uh, also part of the base worker. This will like so this vision image actually comes from ML kit uh, while UI image is from iOS. So we will just create the vision image using UI image and we'll also transfer the orientation so that they have uh, the proper orientation. So once that is done and we get the results, then we will try to plot them. So once we have process results, uh, this is where we will create a frame uh, with the face uh, bounds and we will attach a label. So the, in face detection, the label is not just the index. So once the faces are detected, then we will draw on top of them. So this is the code to draw on top of them. So I'm not going to go through it, but uh, it's basically just uh, drawing a yellow square and then also drawing the label on top of the inside the square and on the face. So the frame is already given to us by MLKit. So we just draw a rectangle and we just write the label inside. So very simple integration. So you can use it for different purposes or even a copy project. And in the next video, we will reuse this code to just enhance it and add face recognition using mobile face. See you there.